Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Summer Play Slay the Spire. Yesterday's daily, our score wasn't great. The deck was fun, but our score was probably a thousand point play. Yeah, 200. In the end, that's better than I thought it would be. Let me check this real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have another daily here. It is silent this time. Whoa. Microphone falling down. Okay, here we go. It is the silent this time. Shiny certain future binary. 1100 for the front page easily. Binary and certain future both reduce the points. I mean, shiny, I like the how different a run is when you got shiny. Because getting to do something with these cards is, is fun. Now we have binary. It's a bit unfortunate. In certain future reduces the point variance. Glass knife doppelganger, I guess is the thing. Got an adrenaline. Maybe I should have nightmared the adrenaline. I should have nightmared the adrenaline for sure. Bullet time. Nightmare this. Uh, double up this. Nightmare this. Get tools of the trade going. Hit him. Not quite enough. Now it is low. Of course we take backflip. We need some attacks and some defenses. We have a lot of utility in these cards. Okay, you know what? Bullet time might have been better, but I think this is an okay start. I mean there was there was a there's a burst corpse explosion? No, we, we burst adrenaline for sure. And then we got a corpse explosion, do this, do this. Easy kill. Oh my goodness, that's a very good block. We could burst that. I'd rather... I mean, bursting this doesn't do much. It gives us two more turns of weakness on the enemy, but... That's not amazing. Die, die, die is 13 damage, then we can apply 6 poison. Or we can doppelganger. I think doppelganging here is better. Let's see. Backflip. Adrenaline. Bullet time, and then we play all the good cards. There you go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Cloak and Dagger is another block that does something. Poison Stab is nice, especially in here, but I'm taking the Cloak and Dagger. Now our blocks are kind of getting stronger. How many cards do we have? I could Glass Knife to kill one of the big ones, and then Storm of Steel, that's five shoes. Two shifts kill this one, three shifts kill this one. We take eight. Otherwise I take bullet time into backflip, it's not worth it. You know what? And now we backflip. Oh, and look at this stage. Die, die, die. We should have backflipped first. Could have saved the... Oh. Another tools of the trade or bouncing flask. Bouncing flask helps. We could go for a poison thing. I like the new corpse explosion a lot, by the way. The apply six poison when it dies, it deals damage equal to its HP to all enemies. That's really cool. Could get a poison thing. I like tools of the trade as well. Maybe I don't want to take it, but let's be honest, I do want to take it. Long fires. This is going to be a lot of value. Okay, I could die, 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 and glass knife. That's a lot of damage. I could double up on Corpse Explosion, that's more damage. I can't double up on Corpse Explosion, I'm very stupid. After Image, draw. Alchemize, Storm of Steel gives us 
three, four, it goes up to six block. Uh, malaise is better, I think. And then another block here. We're taking three damage only. Now this is a bullet time if I've ever seen one. And Venom, tool of the trade. I'm bursting the cloak and dagger. And then we hit, we hit, I do play the tools of the trade. And we draw on six cards here. Okay, that's pretty nice. Swift potion. Don't think we need that. Second clock and dagger. Outmaneuver might this might be a good deck for outmaneuver. Because the cards are very expensive. Outmaneuver might help us play those, but I like clock and dagger a lot. Let's see. After image, I could leg sweep. I think I'm doppelganging. Playing the doppelganger. I could burst malaise. He gains 4 strength and he loses 8 strength. That's pretty bad. Glass knife, unload. Tools of the trade for Tasmal Killer. No, I want the malaise at least. One weakness is probably worth it. I have. 12 block weakness okay let, let me let me check something 20 and we have enough block okay so attack attack glass knife oh I can't malaise and unload that's unfortunate I'm playing truth of the trade and unload get rid of truth of the trade Adrenaline. Backflip. I'm gonna kill him now. At least I'm hoping. 23, 22. Storm of Steel doesn't do anything. I mean, we're fine. The after image is carrying us. And there you go. Also, him not doing a lot of big attacks is also nice. Oricalcum is beautiful. So our defenses are up there now. Let's see. After image innate is really good. Our cloak and daggers, giving us two shifts, doubles up on their offensive potential. I like that. No, I like in random costing one. It's gonna be a lot of offensive potential. Nine poison is pretty good. Alchemize being free. Malaise one additional. Adrenaline additional energy is also great. There's many a good card. This gets cost to zero. There's good cards. I think we start with the Nate after image. We always want the after image in our starting hand. Gain one artifact. Works. If any of you enter rest site next turn, gain two additional energy. That's also pretty good. I think I take this. Now the question is do I take another cloak and dagger? That's the third one. If we get a fourth one we gain 25 points so yes I'm taking this as well. I might be a bit overkill but oh. Tough bandage. Give me gold. Do I start upgrading the cloak and daggers? The cloak and daggers they're also when upgraded quite a bit of block with our after image. No, the tools of the trade are starting to be better with the tough bandages. And I don't know if I want to, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm starting to upgrade these. We still get enough block here, it's fine. And having more after images is... Pretty good altogether. There's six block, and now we have four after images. We're not taking any damage here, ever. Alchemize could work, but why not? Storm of Steel. The damage is going very slow, but look at that the amount of block we got there.
absolutely brutal. I could have used Grand Finale there. I'm like, in my mind, I'm always like, Grand Finale doesn't do anything. Let's ignore that one. So bad. Dagger Throw? Dagger Throw is also three block with a tough bandage. That's pretty cool. Uh, backflip. Adrenaline. Bullet time. And Venom. After image. Take the AoE damage. Tools of the trade is nice. And then we need some damage here. Whatever. Let them die to the poison. Attack potion is pretty cool. Eviscerate doesn't do much with the tough bandage, sadly. Do I want an acrobatics? I think a single acrobatics in your deck is always nice. It helps us dig for the important cards. After image, adrenaline, bullet time. Uh, the acrobatics is pretty useless right now. I'm taking the wraith form. It's two turns of us not, not, not having to worry about. Any damage coming in. Storm of Steel. 8 and 8 and 8. Two enemies on 9 HP. Pretty easy. We like the strength potion. Now at least I don't take. Only played no other casting hand. No, no, no. Strength potion over liquid bronze. Who are we fighting against? No, liquid bronze is a lot better here. And then Smith upgrade. The next cloak and dagger. I like that giving us two shifts gives us an additional block with the after image and all the other good stuff. So we can play backflip. Maybe some more card draw? No, but bullet time. Leg sweep. Play this, play this, play this. Get a bit of damage in. End it with unload. That's a very good turn. We gain six block every turn. Now, bursting, I'm having a very bad idea here. Bursting adrenaline into malaise. Imagine the possibilities. Six. Actually, that's worse than bursting malaise. So never mind that. We already played bullet time, right? Yeah, there's no reason to acrobatics here. Die, die, die gets us the damage. I guess we're going die, die, die in malaise. So you flip and then minus three is fine. Should have done adrenaline to burst malaise. Oh, this is beautiful. Hit you. Hit you. Get some block going, and then we hit you once. We hit you again, and we hit you a third time. Six block is enough. We got the finale. Ooh. Getting rid of this, and I'm getting rid of Nightmare, because I'm playing bullet time here. So juicy with it, with all our powers, we're getting so much value. Now grand finale is not going to work here. We could just burst doppelganger and be done with it. No. Little backflip. Little glass knife. I got a dagger spray. And I'm gonna get rid of Doppelganger here. Let's see. Another bullet time. Cloak and Dagger. And what's the other card I don't want? I don't think I need Wraith Form. Bullet time. Leg Sweep, Phantasmal Killer, and Venom. And then hit him with some big Cloak and Daggers. 
This is not even close. The draw to discard to gain six block at the beginning of every turn is amazing. Hey, we can proc grand finale here. Because this draws three cards. This draws two cards. And then this draws one card. And then we hit you for 80. <laughs> Third tools of the trade, second die, die, die. I mean, tools of the trade is, again, with the tough banish, this is just so good. It gives us three block every turn. Maybe I prefer the die, 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 though, because die, die, die is massive damage. Nah, who am I kidding? We're, we're going for the fun thing. Attacks that cost zero deal three additional damage. 100%. I'm so happy I took all the cloak and daggers. The shifts are now almost twice as strong. This is beautiful. So, after image. Gonna play this for sure. I could get a die 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 in here or a glass knife. I think a die 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 is better. I didn't even use my Liquid Thorns, I just realized on the boss fight where Liquid Thorns was really, really good. Backflip. Adrenaline. Bullet time. Let's see. We burst in this. I will dagger throw. Do I Nightmare Malaise? Yeah, okay. I'm Nightmaring Malaise. We have Storm of Steel, so maybe we draw it to Storm of Steel and then that's three more shifts this turn. No Storm of Steel! How cheeky. Get one kill. Hit him with the unload, that's a lot of block. That's a lot of block. Damn, I love tough bandages. We have so many synergy. No. Seven, 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 and seven. No, I don't think this is worth it. Our deck is beautiful. And we were not gonna get up to 50 plus cards, so. Burst, Adren no, not Alchemist, Adrenaline. Gives us up to three energy, and then I can play Bullet Time. And let's see. After image, a thousand cuts. I'm taking the Liquid Thorns. Give me Alchemist. Play this. We can you play this. Get Phantasmal Killer going. Okay, this what you will kill himself on the thorns. Explode and hopefully kill the other ones. Amazing. Piercing well is a pretty good one. I'm not gonna lie, piercing well is good. Not against these though. I'm skipping, we have enough defensive measures in this deck. Plus max HP is nice. I don't think dexterity is that good. No, 7 max HP I'll take. And Flash of Steel is just a free attack that costs 0 so it gets better with Wrist Blade. So hell yes, Flash of Steel. Ancient T set. And get a new special relic? Okay, what do we get? Alright, oh, triples the chance of getting rare card rewards. Hmm. Might not have been the best thing to happen here. Play this. Drinking the steroid potion now. I'm not sure why it's 15 additional damage. Let's see what we got. Can malaise you. Minus four strength and weakened. Minus three is good enough. This t this way we're blocking everything. Ooh, I would like in venom. I'd also like storm of steel. Okay, I'm playing in venom. Storm of steel would have been better damage. By far. Grand Finale might work, depending on what we draw here. No, we have no card draw, so I'm taking bullet time. So Grand Finale is just three block with the discard here. Yeah. 
They're so very dead. There you go. Yes, Blade Dance is our best attack card. I'm gonna smith the last Cloak and Dagger and then I'm gonna smith the Blade Dance. And Elite. Book of Stabbing, eh? Ooh, this is not gonna end well for you, I think. I mean, at least this turn is not gonna end well. I like Malaise a lot. But do I take bullet time to play Envenom and Leg Sweep? And Malaise and Storm of Steel in the end for some additional block. If I Malaise now, he's gonna do a 3, so he's gonna do 2 times 3 damage, that's 6 damage. And I get 1 block, so Oricalcum doesn't trigger, sadly, because I play a card with After Image. I could leg sweep and reduce him to 15 damage. I got enough block. That sh that that could be enough. Leg sweep and malaise for one is also is 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 enough. Yeah, I can storm of steel to block 15. No, block 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 block. He's attacking for 18, so that's also not getting there. Which means. Bullet time into leg, into leg sweep. It's hopefully enough. Leg sweep and malaise is the best thing we can do, but that doesn't help us at all. And malaise for one is kind of weak. I'm gonna do it anyways. There's the adrenaline, I would have liked this earlier. Dagger throw or acrobatics, what's preferred here? We use the bullet. Oh, yeah, right. We had bullet time last turn. It's unfortunate. I mean, blade dance. Let's take acrobatics. No, we not. We can't play this anymore. That's some damage. Though glass knife is better than. Oh, this is more block though. Leg sweep is enough block. We can't get up to 15 block without leg sweep, and then the most damage is 18. I don't need the block of the two shifts. Two shifts is only 14. Cloak and dagger is 7, 8, 9. So we need 3 more. That's pretty easily done. So we hit here, we do a die, die, die. And a doppelganger for nothing. This is the part where we probably don't make it. Nah. 12. 13, 14, 15. We are making it. That was pretty close, but thankfully I have potions. And I will not forget. This is pretty bad. Again, Lex Sweep clears this up. And now 2-7 is better than 2 times 6. Glass knife got a lot worse. Okay, listen here. I think they're dead. No, they're not. It is not. The Book of Stabbing is not dead yet. But it's basically dead now. There you go. Perfect fight. Adrenaline and Nightmare upgrade is pretty nice. That's 2 times 7 damage in hand for free. Okay, I'm taking it. We upgraded all our things. Blade Dance gives us a third shift. That's 7 additional damage. And Venom weakened. Uh, and Venom cheaper, I like. Malaise and doppelganger doing stuff. There's there's a lot of good card, uh, good upgrades I got here. Can no longer become frail. That's kind of who really cares. Oh, we can't do this sadly. Slice. I mean, slice would be eight, but I don't want that. Tactician, I'll take simply because we have three. Okay, what can we get to do here? 
Could get another Endless Agony. I have no Cloak and Dagger. I want the Cloak and Dagger another one. I mean, Accuracy is also damage up. Accuracy is probably the best thing here. Now most damage we're doing with shifts, so accuracy is pretty good. So, oh, we should have probably played the after image earlier. In Venom, unload tools of the trade. The unload will give us a lot of block. I don't think it's enough block, yeah? We're taking eight. It's unfortunate, but this one will not give us bonus points for perfecting, so it's fine. And then we play this, and then we hit him with this, and he's dead. That was pretty brutal. I will get rid of this. Okay, you know what? I'm playing Alchemist first and then Storm of Steel. Hit, hit, hit. Alchemist for the free potion. Why not take the value when while well, we still can? No reason to play the accuracy, we can just stab her to death. I'm taking all the tacticians by the way, this is this is gonna be great. Now with more tacticians like this, the value... We just go for the base damage, yeah. The value of the draw discard power gets up a lot. Like, did we just get all of our cards cost zero? That seems unlikely. We're getting six die die dies next turn. That's gonna be hilarious. Do they all cost zero? They all cost zero. Oh goodness gracious. All I can say is die die die. Ooh, energy potion. Fourth cloak and dagger. That's some points for us. 25 points for having a card four times in my deck. Start with after image. Flash of Steel is free. I'd like leg sweep. And we're out of energy though. Still by far the best defensive card. Absolute madness. I'm taking him a lace for one. Acrobatics? Crap, we lost the bullet time. And I do want the tools of the trade, we'll take damage though. Not much, 5 damage is fine. I will survive. Get rid of this, get rid of this. And then get rid of this. Why did I take two shifts over 14 damage up front? We will never know. That's four energy. Accuracy. Blade dance. 11. 12. We're taking six damage again. Get rid of this, get rid of this. First the adrenaline. And Venom, Cloak and Dagger, hit ya, play this, get him with the die, die, die. Nightmare Tactician. We're getting three additional Tacticians and I'm discarding a few cards. And also he's dead. Nah, I think we're fine still. Now, do I start upgrading the tools of the trade so I can play him for free? Makes the tactician better. I could upgrade the tacticians so they give us two energy. 
Okay, I'm taking the cloak attack again. That's an additional shift. So all the upgrades that give us an additional shift is basically plus seven damage, plus one block at least. Now I'll burst adrenaline for sure. Give me some juicy starts like this. Play this. Flash of steel. Acrobatics has given us some good stuff. I'll play this first. Acrobatics, this card here. Four, four energy. And Venom, thousand cuts. Almost. And Venom, Storm of Seal. Now that's juicy. We get rid of all the artifacts here. We get a lot of damage, uh, poison damage in. Use the poison potion as well. Get rid of Tactician. Do I bullet time? Yes, I do. And I nightmare my cloak and daggers. I could nightmare wraith forms. Do I have. No, I'm, I want the cloak and dagger probably. And then play this. And then play this. And now let's see. You're doing 14 damage. And you're doing 8 damage. Which means we kill you. We don't have enough damage to kill you. Do we? Seventeen, eighteen. I have to play this sadly. Come on, give me That's not what I wanted to see. I wanted corpse explosion on the orb. It would have been nice. I'll take accuracy. And then we start going to town here. Kill both ads. Let's see. You're attacking for 20, eh? Wait, is, is Echo Form. Is Wraith Form is already gone? Only, only gives us two end no more. Okay, that's. might be a problem. That gives us block. Three and three and one. We don't get enough block here. Fifteen block only. So I guess we have to keep Ghost Ninja going. Yeah, the having to get pop the early wraith form is hurting us a lot. I don't want this. I'm playing this so leg sweep gives us a turn of weakness. Yeah, that's his big attack. So... I highly doubt that we'll be able to... get there in terms of block. Yeah. Very unfortunate. No beyond perfect for us. Freaking having to pop the wraith form early there. I don't I don't think there was a way around this though. I think we were just screwed. I like burst, but we don't have to. Astrolabe, runic dome. You can no longer rest at rest sites, let's do this. We'll try to get through this without resting and the additional energy is very good. Astrolabe was the other thing I'd probably take. So I'm taking after image, I'm taking this one. We can do some damage and some damage. Then Somo Steel discards everything. 14. 18. 16. 17. 14. That's good enough. Nightmare this. Play it here. Too intangible on the Wraith form. It's a bit unfortunate, but I'm hoping that next turn we kill him.
turns out I was right. Another malaise. Who will we fight? Someone who is malaisable? No. So, no, I'm not taking the other malaise. Adrenaline. After image bullet time. Play all the powers. Hit you with a corpse explosion. And then try to kill you as fast as possible. 50 damage to everyone. I need to do a little bit of damage to those two, and the 50 damage will get the kill. I will get rid of this. Let's see. 20 damage here. 20 damage here. Corpse explosion. Corpse explosion is pretty cool. Concentrate to energy and 6 block. I was thinking. Works well with the. Okay, these are the cards we're playing. Works well with the malaise. I will get rid of Nightmare. We'll draw some cards here. Discard Backflip. And then Bullet Time. Let's see. Corpse Explosion. Fantastical Killer Accuracy. Hit him like this. And then hit him like this. Corpse Explosion on Donu or on Decker will be great, by the way. I just realized. That makes... Oh, that's so good. How amazing is that? Two, plus two card plus energy. This is so great. Tactician, get out of here. I will block and dagger. Hit you, hit you. Wait, and Venom, of course. Blade Dance. Shoo. 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 Storm of Steel. And then we hit you with three more shivs. That's massive amounts of damage. Hit ya, hit ya, hit ya. Acrobatics. Tactician. We can do this. We can do this still. And then we bullet time. I'm playing this. Give me another potion. And then... In we go. Technically, this is playing this is worth it for one damage on the... Attack everything card, and then we have a lot of. I don't even have to play anything. Poison's enough. I'm taking Piercing Well now. This time I'm taking it because it's great against the boss. There's a very late shop. I'm actually debating whether I should take this. This reduces their. Yeah, I'm taking this. Weakness on everyone wor is worth against the bosses. Stone and Decker, they have artifact that takes away one of their artifact. That's a noble goal, I'd say. Twenty-two. This is twelve, twenty, twenty-five. So now we have enough block. Since we can't heal, I'll try to have as much HP as possible. Doppelganger me. I need to kill the explosive one now, otherwise he explodes. Well, I guess we're taking a lot of damage. Unless we get a Wraith form. I was thinking, does this help me? Probably not, but the Wraith form does. You know what? Burst Alchemize and then die, die, die. Two Gamblers, bro. Play another card and then kill ya. 
Crippling Cloud is pretty good against Dono and Decker, but Blade Dance Plus? How can I say no? Again, do I start getting the tacticians? Do I make tools of the trades free? This is not easy. Tools of the trade being free makes tacticians better. We do have at least dagger throw and acrobatics as well to discard them. Oh no. Gonna make the tacticians better. Upgrade all cards, you can no longer heal. Fight a boss from Act 1, receive a rare relic. You know what, we can't heal anyways. So I'm upgrading all cards. I guess we can't do anything at this rest site. Brutal. This is scary. This deck is so great and up uh, when upgraded it's actually even better. That was beautiful. I'm getting relays out of here. Alchemize is free. Backflip. Acrobatics. That's Gremlin Horn doing work. Yeah, Adrenaline draws us two more cards. Tactician could work, but now we're bullet timing. You're gonna explode. Die, die, die. Phantasmal killer, and then... Alright, oh, it also gets doubled up. Oh my goodness, this deck is amazing! I'm also taking a backflip. Backflip got a lot better now that bullet time is cheaper. Ooh. By the way, I'm keeping the Gambler's Brews because of tough bandages. Gambler Brew, Gambler's Brew is a lot of block. Like, a lot of block. So we kill this one fast and then the other two explode. Boom. I'd like concentrate now, but I again I think it's not worth it. Half image, flesh of steel. Acrobatics. Do I want the alchemize actually? When I mean, we take one tools of the trade and then we do storm of steel. I do like having the Gambler's Brews in the backhand to get massive amounts of block and then afterwards an Anthropic Brew is the right thing. Corpse Explosion. Why are you so right? Now, I'll take one damage here and because he survives on one after the Corpse Explosion. Damn, the new Corpse Explosion is a treat. This is the first time really playing with this. Prepare the 6 block and some card selection. Might work, especially with the tactician we probably should have taken it. But eh, whatever. Ended on 4 energy the turn. It's pretty nice. Backflip. Accuracy, Storm of Steel giving us a lot of block. And then those shivs hit like trucks. In Venom. Endless Agony, Endless Agony. Now do I burst Doppelganger? I burst both of them. Beautiful. Play this adrenaline hit. Get the tactician. Seven freaking energy. Who 
Okay. 50 block. And ended on more energy than was needed. I mean, okay. Someone draws to something good. Oh wait, I don't even have to. The poison is strong enough. Damn, this deck is amazing. Oh, another blade dance. Okay, shop. Plays a card from your hand in the bottom there. Ah. Ah. I like these over these. Okay, we, we're just getting a random relic, I guess. There's nothing we can do here. And now let's see the, the moment of truth. Take the after image. Take the blade dance. We'll focus here. I could exhaust the alchemist. That might be worth it later on. Now this uh, discarding here gives us three, fifteen block plus four. We got twenty block. I could also. No, that's fine. I was thinking that I should use one of my gambler's brews now. Drawn some cards. Tactician, okay. Piercing Whale. Let's see. Leg Sweep. We have enough block. And Venom. Phantasma Killer. So, no more artifact, which means... We will get there. I don't think I need this. We have enough block. Yeah, we do have enough block. Flash of Steel. Ooh, accuracy. 15 and 12 and... yeah. No, with killing him I have to wait until I get my corpse explosion. For the maximum destruction on Decca. I could just kill him. But I want the corpse explosion. Gimme! There's a corpse explosion. Tactician. We can play Grand Finale. <laughs> okay, this is great. Oh, I have a third one. Uh, we don't need the Nightmare either. Corpse explosion. Grand Finale. Boom, boom. Now that's a Grand Finale if i ever seen one. Beautiful. Points are great. Even with 100 points for the Beyond Perfect, this isn't that great. Got Librarian, I got one Collector, Speedster, two Champions. I must have missed points somewhere. But you know what? I'm not really mad about this because that was amazing. That was beautiful. I don't know, already 200 and it's only halfway through, so. The, the score will not be great, but that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Damn, that was, that was a cool deck. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.